Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Renee. And if you're new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Uh, Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for 2023. What to expect for 2023? What is coming in for you this year? What is your year going to be like? What's coming in for Sagittarius 2023? Okay, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, what else do we have for Sagittarius? For 2023, what to expect for 2023? We have the Emperor. The Magician, okay. The Emperor and the Magician, wow. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. Lots of success, I see. And the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. So, Sagittarius, you have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. What you may not expect is the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you are mastering something. Something in your life you are becoming more fam familiar with. Now, this may be work, this may be study, this may be your life in general. But I feel like you're doing something that's very, very positive in your life. And I feel like it's something that you really enjoy doing. This could be a side hustle, or this could be a hobby that you're doing, or this could be a career. Um, but I feel like, you know, you are really enjoying doing this. You are really putting in a lot of thought, a lot of creative nature. Um, I feel like you're just really enjoying the aspect of it. Now, you do have the Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know what, someone from your past may be returning and I really don't want to say that but it's true someone from your past may be returning um, it may be someone trying to come back to um, make you change your mind about a certain aspect in 2023 I feel like they I feel like you made a decision and this person really want you to take a second look at the situation this could also be you spending more time with your family um, if you have children grandchildren or if you have brothers and sisters this could have you you know spending more time with your family taking time out to really um, visit with them socialize and I apologize for the noise that's these kittens yeah and what's now okay and we have the knight of pentacles so with the knight of pentacles I feel like you know you're gonna rely on someone for stability whether this is your friends whether this is your family but you're going to lean on somebody for stability, for support in a situation. Um, I feel like this is also you working hard at something that you're doing. This is you really building up your income, really taking time out for yourself. Because you have the Four of Swords. 
and the six of swords so i feel like you you are very in tune with yourself you you're taking a lot of time to uh, really take care of yourself really look out for your health look out for your well-being i feel like you are taking time to be more spiritual and it's moving you into a more calm state it's moving you into um less challenges as far as mental state is putting you in a positive nature if that makes sense to you Sagittarius I, but yeah I, with this card I feel like you're moving into a less negative energy you may have had some obstacles or something that you were going through because you also have the seven of of wands here as, as well so yeah I, I feel like you're setting those boundaries after you know you're you're moving into a calmer space into calmer waters you're moving yourself into more positive nature and now after that you're setting up your boundaries you're building those walls you're standing up for yourself you're taking control of your situation basically because you have the emperor and you also have the magician so what you're doing is you're taking more control of your life you're making those hard decisions you're creating something that would be um, better for you in the long term I feel like you're creating those things in your life that's gonna build on to your future that are manifesting something great that you can look forward to because you also have the ace of wands as well so this is another card of creation very creative energy this could be a new job you may be creating something you may be manifesting something bringing it down to earth that's going to create more abundance that's going to give you a totally new career that is going to change your life in ways that brings you into some kind of new beginning a new atmosphere um, a new start to a situation because you also have the six of wands which is a lot of success you're in the spotlight you may be socializing more people view you as successful they view you as victorious they're kind of rooting you on they're seeing your success and you have the will of fortune so this is definitely your good fortune turning in your favor this is this is you changing for a better, moving your situation into a better situation. Very interesting, <laughs> Sagittarius. I, I feel like I'm talking so fast, I can't take a breath. But I, I feel like I've got to get it out for you because I feel like there's so many changes coming through. And I feel like, you know, you, you're going through so many breakthroughs mentally emotionally maybe even physically um, but I feel like you're you're moving into this new beginning this year you're starting out fresh I feel like you're totally inspired by some kind of situation you may be starting a new project you may be starting a new career. Um, I feel like anything that you went through in the past, really focusing on yourself, focusing on what makes you happy, what brings you joy, what brings you rest. Um, I feel like you're, it's moving you into this situation. Now, I'm not quite sure if you're going to let this person who's returning into your life, if this is a person returning, I'm not sure if you're going to accept their invitation or not but I feel like you're definitely building up walls you're setting boundaries so if you do let this person back into your life I feel like you're setting new ground rules you're setting new ground rules to protect yourself to guard yourself and in ways that this person um, won't affect you the way that they did before 
that's just how I'm going to put that. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius for 2023? What's coming in for Sagittarius? Yeah, okay. So now you have two aces in this reading. Yeah, it's definitely new income coming in. This is monetary gain. This is new income. This is new abundance. This also may be good health, good family. The pinnacles are also health and family. So yeah, I feel like it's making you set your priorities in a way that you're able to carry them more steadily. You know, with that Ten of Wands, I really feel like you have went through some kind of completion that you're bringing in your harvest. Especially with the, the Ace of Pentacles right next to it. You're bringing in your harvest. You are, I feel like that's abundance. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely, definitely abundance. You're bringing in your abundance. Um, because you are looking at your resources and using them wisely. I feel like you're really following your intuition in this situation. The, this may well be some kind of new career change. This may be you totally relocating. Yeah, you have the Five of Swords. So I feel like you're undecided about the situation. If you want to, if this is a career situation, I feel like you're undecided that um, you really don't want to walk away from the situation. But you have the Star. So I definitely feel like this is a brand new start. This is renewal. So this is your miracles coming in. This is you becoming the spotlight. You taking the initiative on some side, some kind of situation. Definitely. So definitely your miracles are coming in. And it's helping you with healing and balance. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there it is, there it is. Okay, yeah, and, and whatever you're doing is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. And Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Justice card. So this is definitely something that you totally deserve. This is something that you work for. This is your karma coming back to reward you. This is the universe gifting you with something for such a great progress. Okay, Sagittarius, this is a beautiful reading. Let's get some uh, architect card. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Let's get our architect card. But I see a lot of happiness. Uh, a lot of happiness. A lot of success. Yeah. Okay. I really don't see a whole lot of love in this reading. But with this architect card, there may be new love coming in. And look, we have a boat. So this is you moving in the direction of love. Or this is you moving into the direction of your heart's desire. Something that you've desired for a very long time is now coming into fruition. This is the perfect year, the perfect start. Um, the planets are in perfect alignment for you to manifest this in your life this year. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, we have two cards that popped out. Just one moment while I get those. Okay, definitely, definitely. Sagittarius. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got self-worth. So you're definitely really seeing how much you're worth this year 
you're really focusing on yourself, on your healing, on how much you value your own ideas, your own thoughts, and you have completion. So you have definitely completed a cycle. You're starting something brand new, brand, fresh, renewed, and Sagittarius soulmate. Yeah, so what you don't expect. What you don't expect on the bottom, you may meet your soulmate this year. If you are single, if you're unattached, your soulmate very well is coming into your life this year. Okay, let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. We have a powerful move yeah definitely you have the will of fortune here as well so yes it's a very powerful move you also have the emperor and the magician so definitely the, those are some very powerful cards in the tarot um very powerful to manifest and smoke and mirrors so Sagittarius. Now, I don't feel like you're going to be without any challenges and obstacles. This is real life. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to face challenges and obstacles throughout the year. But you have a burst of magic. So I feel like any challenges and obstacles that you may go through. Excuse me. You're going to easily, easily overcome. And um, definitely, definitely magician energy. You're going to easily overcome any obstacles or challenges that you go through. Um, because you're Sagittarius. And that's what you do. I'm surprised that the lion hasn't showed his face because I feel like you have a lot of strength. You have more power than you realize, Sagittarius. I'm feeling really temperance and Leo energy for the strength card. Okay, last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Yeah, make sure your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed, especially if you have to sign any contracts this year. And I feel like you may, because it's a very good year for you to buy a home or um, purchase a house. Well, I just said that. To buy a home or purchase a new car. To make a drastic move. <laughs> Yeah, you may be signing a contract or two this year, Sagittarius, because it's a very successful year for you. And new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. So make sure you dive into your spirituality, um, Sagittarius. At the bottom of the deck, you have full moon and Aquarius. Be real. Be true to yourself. Um, yeah. Just be true to yourself. Align yourself with your actions. Okay, that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in, on your situation. And have a happy Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you. Love and light.